for getting in front of, depending which one you want to do, librarians or bookstores, the author community in general, but there's a number of these listed here. Or there are many niche publications, like the Romantic Times. That would be a place if you're a romance author to consider doing some advertising. And of course, there is Facebook advertising, Amazon advertising, Goodreads giveaway, and you can do an ad to get your book out there and in front of people. There are a number of ways. Our biggest recommendation to do your research, really think about your target, and plan accordingly. One option that many of our authors look at is, you'll see this on your Amazon page, it's the Amazon sponsored products. So as you'll see, um, I guess there's a pointer, but you'll see here where the arrow is, that there are sponsored books. And these are, these are places where you can advertise and it's by day, by month, how much you want to spend. But when there are certain key terms that come up in your search, as people are searching for, say, parenting books of a you know, potty training a two-year-old, then if you have some key terms of the same, when the best-selling book comes up, yours will also be there. So there's just a, something to research, and all the, all the information is right there on Amazon to help authors really explore your book out there, where it is for it. There's you know, many different ways that um, authors can create awareness. We all say it's a marathon and not a sprint, and I talk to lots of new authors, and the, the, the first thing I say to them is, unfortunately, nobody cares that you wrote a book. So what we have to do as authors and as book publicists is to find meaningful ways to make audiences interested in you. And that's where we have actually lots of our fun in doing so. So we had, as Corinne mentioned, to the tie-in to Bernie Madoff, the United's problem with um, the um, carrying a passenger off and, and not the nicest way. We had brand managers on Fox News and USA Today talking about this. Hers was a self-published book out a year and a half ago, and we have her on business media several times a week because she's a branding expert and we're able to pull her into the news. So you have to think it's not a, it's not a sprint, it's definitely a marathon and while books definitely have a shelf life in terms of potentially reviews, there are other ways, author-led initiatives, from Goodreads to NetGalley to getting out there in your local community. If you are a romance writer, you can write about romantic spots in your town, how to um, have a romantic dinner, or uh, there's so many ways that we can work with authors to keep them relevant, but you have to remember the end result. I think that's, um, I think Amy Collins said, Put yourself in the other person's shoes when going into a bookstore and going into a librarian. Think about the media person, think about the end result and what they need and what you have that can be valuable. If you say, I wrote a book, they're going to say yes, and so did 3,999 other people today. So writing a book in itself is not newsworthy. So you have to get creative, plan at the beginning, and show your personality and have some fun.